Hello. Now we are going to discuss short tricks on problem zone ages. We can expect one to two mark questions from this topic for all competitive exams. I assure you that after watching this video, you will be able to solve the problem zone ages questions in very few seconds. So let's move to the topic. Let us begin with the concept on which the short trick works. The difference of the ages between two persons remains the same after or before a period of time. For example, the so what we need to concentrate is on the difference between the ages. So whenever the question says the difference between two persons, you need to keep in your mind that the difference between the persons will always remain same irrespective of the past or future time that they are mentioning. That means, let us explain this concept with the help of an example. The present difference between the ages of two sisters is 4 years. If the present age of elder sister is 6 years, then what will be the age of younger sister after 6 years? It is given that after 6 years. So, let us state that after 6 years, the elder sister will be, elder sister's age will be 12, isn't it? So, uh, it is already given that the difference between the ages of two sisters is 4 years. So, according to the concept that we uh, explained before, the difference between them will always be, the difference between them will always be 4 years. So, the younger sister will be 4 years. Uh, younger than the elder sister which will be 8. So, the uh, age of younger sister will be 8 years after 6 years from the present. Okay, This is how, this is the main concept on which the problems on this particular, uh, the problems be, um, or the short trick for, uh, for solving the questions is based on. Okay, So, let us move to the first problem. The current ages of mother and son are in the ratio 6 is to 1 respectively. 4 years hence, the ratio of their ages will become 4 is to 1 respectively. What is the present age of son? Okay, so whenever you are given a question like this based on ratio, you need to note down the given values. Let us take like this mother and son. Then the first uh, present current ages, that means present age is given as, uh, ages ratio is given as 6 is to 1 and 4 years hence, not this uh, keyword hence, hence denotes after, that is the ages in the future, okay, after 4 years, that means there is a plus, okay, after 4 years, the ratio of their ages will become what, 4 is to 1, okay. What is the present age of son? This is the question. Whenever you get a question like this, what is our main concept? The difference between the ages should be, um, the difference between the ages should be same. That means uh, the difference between the ages will remain same. Okay. So here, let us see what is the difference between uh, the given values of this ratio. Here, the ratio uh, difference is 2. And here the difference is 0. But when we are getting a different differences, okay, when there is a difference, uh, when we are getting the uh, different values for these differences, we cannot apply our uh, trick here. So, in order to uh, apply our trick, what we need to do is we need to make this difference same. Okay, so how can you make this difference same? In order to make the differences same, what we are going to do is take the difference between the numbers of ratio. Okay, we are going to take the uh, difference between the numbers of uh, these ratios, the values of these ratios and then we are going to multiply these value with the opposite num uh, ratios numbers. I will be explaining you how it is. So, let us take what is the difference between these two 4 minus 1, 3. Okay. 
here what is the difference 6 minus 1 5 so in order to make the ratio the difference between these values same what we are going to do is here we are going to multiply with 3 both these values of the first ratio will be multiplied with 3 which is the difference of the values of below ratio and here we are going to multiply with 5 which is the difference of the values of the first ratio okay okay now what are you going to get now the new ratio will be 18 3 25 okay this is our new ratio now let's see what is the difference here the difference is minus 2 here also the difference is minus 2 now we see that the difference uh, is same okay now we can apply our rule uh, what is the rule for four years four years the difference that we got is 2 okay so what we need to do for equalizing the um, both the sides we need to multiply it with 2 okay so in order to make it same we need to multiply it with 2 okay so what are you going to do now what is the, uh, what is asked what is the present age of sun so present age means which is which ratio is equal to present the first one so sun be, uh, below sun it is 3 and uh, corresponding to present we are having 3 so into 2 so what is the uh, because here we are equalizing the difference is 2 for 4 years the difference is 2 so for equalizing we have multiplied it with 2 so then you get that the age of sun is 3 into 2 which is 6 so what will be the answer 6 years I have taken this much time because I am explaining this to you for the first time that is why I took this much time but when you practice it is really very easy okay it will be solved in very few seconds that you can say 2 seconds okay so make this a practice now let us see this with another question I think with that you will be very clear about this method okay this you can apply with all ratio based problems okay let us see the next question present ages of two brothers are in the ratio 1 is to 2 now let us uh, move on together the present ages are in the ratio what is given 1 is to 2 then 5 years ago so here the age given is in past so we need to uh, not that first okay so I am just removing this 5 years ago is given here so we will be um, past age I am first writing the past age they are in the ratio 1 is to 3 now the present uh, ages are in the ratio 1 is to 2 okay present ages are in the ratio 1 is to 2 now let us apply again the difference here is not same so what you are going to do is multiply with the difference so the first one will be 1 and 3 only because the difference here is 1 okay 1 and 3 now what about the below one you need to multiply it with 2 because the difference here is 2 okay so 2 then here 4 now we have equalized the difference both the differences are 1 minus 1 okay so for 5 years here we uh, we know that this is minus 5 isn't it so for 5 years what is the difference 1 so you need to multiply it with 5 then what will be the answer you need to multiply it with 5 so what you are getting is uh, this is the present one no so it will be uh, 10 and 20 so the present ages will be 10 and 20 now what you are asked for what will be the ratio of ratio of their ages after 5 years so after 5 years the ages will be this is present age the so after 5 years the ages will be 15 and 25 then their ratio means what will be the ratio 3 is to 5 so the ratio will be 3 is to 5 okay i i think you have understood the trick okay so if you have any doubt just comment your doubts in the discussion forum if you like the video please uh, provide your feedback in the discussion forum and if you want trick of a particular topic okay then that also you can comment in the discussion forum based on your comments we will be doing more and more videos 
and if you like the video please share it among your friends thank you